Prophet God. In the last class, we are discussing with the part called endomembrane system. Of that, we discussed about three organelles clearly. And uh, first comes the endoplasmic reticulum, two types, rough and smooth one. Second, we discussed about the Golgi bodies or Golgi complex having three components, you know, cisterna, tubules and vesicles. And thirdly, we discussed with the lysosomes. Lysosomes are called suicide bag of a cell. And they are single membrane bound structures filled with the fluid. And the enzymes present in the lysosomes are called acid hydrolysis. Enzymes are called acid hydrolysis. And these enzymes are strong digestive enzymes. So they are called as acid hydrolysis. They are acidic in nature. They are helping in the digestion. And the lysosomes are called a suicide bag of a cell. They are called a suicide bag of a cell. Because they contain enzymes and helping in the digestion of damaged cell or damaged organs. If the organs are damaged, the cells are damaged, they are digested by, they are, they are decomposed by, digested by the enzymes of the lysosome. So lysosomes are called suicide bag of a cell because they contain enzymes which are helping in the digestion of a damaged cell or organ. So lysosomes are called suicide bag of a cell. Uh, they are helping the self death, cell in the old cell in the organs, you know, dead down to the asamet, the enzymes release is on it. As you see in the digestion of some cell in the part, the cell in the digestion of the help him. So they are called lysosomes, are called suicide bag of a cell. And then comes the fourth organ that already comes under endomembrane system is a uh, vacuum. Vacuums and the diagram vacuums are represented. This is a vacuum and the structures come like that. They are single membrane bound structures covered with a fluid. And vacuums are single membrane bound structures covered by a membrane. That membrane is called tonoplast. See, vacuum membrane is called tonoplast, and the vacuums are filled with a fluid not cytoplasm but filled with a concentrated fluid which contain water and uh, dissolved minerals and waste materials and the uh, fluid present in the vacuum is called cell sap it is called cell sap and uh, it is highly concentrated so uh, this is about the vacuum and this contain all the waste materials sometimes sometimes it contain minerals sometimes it contain all the other su substances so it is highly concentrated called cell sap and vacuoles are of different types. Some of the vacuoles are storing food material. They are called as food vacuoles, as in amoeba. Food is stored in some vacuole, they are called food vacuole. And some other vacuoles are called contractile vacuoles, as in amoeba. Some vacuoles are called contractile vacuoles. They are helping os osmoregulation, that is, controlling the uh, concentration of uh, water or content of water contents. They are called as uh, contractile vacuum that can contract and relax as an amoeba. As an amoeba, we might say unicellular organism. There is no excretory system, digestive system, respiratory system. Nothing is there in amoeba. All the activities are done by a single cell. Uru cell and la carrying a chain. Upon amoeba, a unicellular organism, uh, body in a water content reduce here, like a body in a waste material eliminate here. There is a special kind of vacuum called a contractile vacuum. So they are called contractile vacuum. Small vacuums are there. Severe vacuums are contractile vacuum. They are controlling the osmoregulation. That is osmotic concentration of cells are controlling. That is waste of the vacuum. Vacuums are contractile vacuum. This is collective. This is collective of the waste material. Body will have extra water. And in the same way, extra water and extra waste are the collective. And the collective will be well done. And the well done. And the contract is well done. And then comes to cell. And the remote will. Cell membrane and the tool. 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 Cell membrane and the t
vacuoles are there, they are called as contractile vacuoles, as in unicell or organisms in amoeba or paramecium, they are organisms called not, contractile vacuoles are there, so that is about the uh, structures called uh, vacuoles, they are structures, uh, so there are, there are four structures related to this one, nano structures are known as endoplasmic reticulum, then Golgi bodies, then lysosomes and uh, vacuoles, okay? Single membrane body structures on a electrolytic fluid and now a fluid secretion by the Pratana, lysosomes again, and just my mother Pratana. Organs are not organs are important now. It is collectively not a good idea on the endomembrane system of the other important vacuole, sorry, endoplasmic reticulum is the end type on a rough hook, smooth and important now. What are the two types of endoplasmic reticulum? And the structure and the Vetias and function and the Vetias and the important now. Then, Golgi body is like very poor. I think the moon components are important. Sister and the physical city of Bursula, non components are important. Then, lysosome is like very poor. Acid hydrolysis. I think the function suicide back of a cell is not important. Then, vacuole is very poor. I think the membrane is very important. Then, food vacuole is very important. Okay, that's about the endomembrane system. Okay, endomembrane system. Okay, that's about the endomembrane system. Then comes the, that the single membrane for the structure is not. It is really important that I have to say that there are other things that come from the nucleus, chloroplast, ribosome and all the important organs in the discussion. Then first it comes to the first part called, first one called mitochondrion. Mitochondrion, singular or not, mitochondrion or plural or not. So mitochondrion is called the powerhouse of a cell. This is what I said. Powerhouse of a cell. Cell in the powerhouse on. Are you a powerhouse or not? Power and not energy produced in the past on a powerhouse of a cell. So mitochondria is called a powerhouse of a cell because it produces energy. It produces ATP. Energy and again, ATP molecules in the mitochondria on a by the process of cellular respiration. Cellular respiration in the process of the mitochondria on a ATP produces the mitochondria on a Energy produced in the mitochondria. Angan energy produced in the organel ayatu kanda na mitochondria is called the powerhouse of a cell in the body. Then see structure for this session. I will give the functions. First of all, the number of mitochondria may vary from cell to cell. Oro cellu, oro daratila na mitochondria da vale. Nannai varke ina. Itu mudah varke ina cellila na kudel mitochondria da vale. Muscle cells ni approximately. 3000 mitochondria are present because the muscle cells are not the energy of the muscle cells are approximately 3000 mitochondria are present so mitochondria are structured this organ around in shape covered by cellular membrane so this organ around in shape covered by double membrane covering covered by double membrane covering this is called outer membrane OM outer membrane and inner is called inner membrane आ इन्नर मेम्ब्रेन ना बारे को इन्नर मेम्ब्रेन फोल्ड डाल ये ना बारे का मारना इन्नर मेम्ब्रेन ये उल्लू उठा फोल्ड इस डाल ये उल्लू उठा मारने इट डाल इंगे ना इन्नर मेम्ब्रेन बारे को इन्नर मेम्ब्रेन पुरे वाले वाले सही टू इंग्रीस डी सरफेस एरिया सरफेस एरिया इंग्रीस दिया इन्नर मेम्ब्रेन तीन पेपर लाइक फोल्डिंग्स इंगेन बनाया था सरपोर्ट फोल्डिंग्स आगे मैंने उन लोगों टे फोल्डिंग बनाया इस फोल्डिंग्स कहाँ के रखो संदेश आए इस इन्नर मेम्ब्रेन इस फोल्डर एक्सटेंसिव इन फोल्डिंग्स ऑफ़ द इन्नर मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ़ माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया आर कॉल्ड एस क्रिस्टे ये फोल्डिंग्स ने क्रिस्टे बनाए सी दिस इस द इन्नर मेम्ब्रेन आई एम इन्नर मेम्ब्रेन दिस फोल्डिंग्स आर कॉल्ड एस क्रिस्टे सी आर आई एस टी ए ई सो इन्नर मेम्ब्रेन इस फोल्डर इट माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया दिस इन फोल्डिंग्स ऑफ माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इन्नर मेम्ब्रेन आर कॉल्ड एस क्रिस्टे इन्हें आने फोल्ड इधर आइने सरफेस इरे इंग्रीस इरे हमें दिखाना माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया मेम्ब्रेन इले उर बार रिएक्शन्स नारकुलो रस्पिरेशन पोले अपन सरफेस इरे बैठाम अपन इन्होंने उल्प 
ഉൾപ്പെടുത്താൻ അതിൽ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ അത് ഫോൾഡഡ് ആണ് ആ ഫോൾഡിംഗ് നമ്മള് ക്രിസ്റ്റേ എന്ന് പറയും ആൻഡ് സ്പേസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഔട്ടർ ആൻഡ് ഇന്നർ മെമ്പ്രേസ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് പെരി മൈക്രോഫോണ്ട്രിയൽ സ്പേസ് സ്ഥലത്തിന് പെരി മൈക്രോഫോണ്ട്രിയൽ സ്പേസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സ്പേസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഔട്ടർ ആൻഡ് ഇന്നർ മെമ്പ്രേസ് കോൾഡ് പെരി മൈക്രോഫോണ്ട്രിയൽ സ്പേസ് എന്ന് പറയും ഓർ ഔട്ടർ കമ്പാർട്ട്മെന്റ് എന്ന് പറയും ആൻഡ് on the inner membrane this is a fluid field in other fluid ana in the jelly like fluid in the a jelly like fluid in a matrix nu parayum the jelly like fluid is called matrix m a t r i x and vera pratheda inner membrane le mole ingane structures undavum see the inner membrane le mele crystal le mele ningal full aayi varakkana ingane structures are present like this these kind of structures are present on the inner membrane and on the crystal crystal ne molake ee rendu side lekku ingana structures varakkanam these round structures with the stalk are called these structures are called oxisome nu parayum oxisome nu parayum or oxisome ingane varakkare oxisome nu parnjal idana oxisome ne structure is like tennis racket like structure nu parayum tennis racket pole la structure aanu or head like part undu or head like part undu or tail like part undu head like part nu f1 nu parayum tail like part nu f0 nu parayum so f1 part of or head like part nu or tail like part undu so this is called oxisome allega vera or peru f1 f0 complex nu parayum f1 f0 complex nu parayna tennis racket porulla oru vaadu structures inner membrane le mele undu these structures are called f1 f0 complex or oxisomes they are concerned with the production of atp or ningal varikkunnathu full aayittu varakkanam ellathu meleyum ingane oxisomes varakkanam and in addition to that it contain dna and the prathegathi aanu idinne mele idinne ullile sondamayitte dna undavu circular dna ingane dna undavu ഒന്നോ രണ്ടോ സർക്കുലാർ ഡി എൻ എ ആണ് ഡി എൻ എ ഇത് കൂടാതെ ഇതിന്റെ മേലെ ആർ എൻ എ ഉണ്ടാവും യുനോ ഡി എൻ എ മീൻസ് ഡിയോക്സി റൈബോ ന്യൂക്ലിക് ആസിഡ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് ആർ എൻ എ ഇതിന്റെ മേലെ ആർ എൻ എ ഉണ്ടാവും റൈബോ ന്യൂക്ലിക് ആസിഡ് ഉണ്ടാവും കൂടാതെ ഇതിന്റെ മേലെ ഒരുപാട് റൈബോസോംസ് ഉണ്ടാവും റൈബോസോംസ് ഇതൊക്കെ റൈബോസോം ആണ് എന്തൊക്കെയുണ്ട് മാട്രിക്സില് ഫ്ലൂയിഡ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ മാട്രിക്സ് ആണ് ആ മാട്രിക്സ് സർക്കുലർ ഡി എൻ എ ഉണ്ടാവും റൗണ്ട് ആയ ഡി എൻ എ ആണ് സാധാരണ ഡി എൻ എ റൗണ്ട് അല്ല സർക്കുലർ ഡി എൻ എ ഉണ്ട് ഒരുപാട് ആർ എൻ എ ഉണ്ടാവും റൈബോ ന്യൂക്ലിയസ് ഉണ്ടാവും റൈബോസോംസ് ഉണ്ടാവും സ്വന്തമായിട്ട് റൈബോസോം ഉണ്ട് സ്വന്തമായിട്ട് ആർ എൻ എ ഉണ്ട് സ്വന്തമായിട്ട് ഡി എൻ എ ഉണ്ട് ഇത് ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ആണ് സോ ഈ സദീസ് ദ ഇലക്ട്രോൺ മൈക്രോസ്കോപ്പിക് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഓഫ് മൈക്രോകോൺട്രിയോൺ so i will explain once again mitochondria round or oval in shape oval shape aanu rendu membrane aanu outer membrane inner membrane undavu out space ne peri mitochondrial space nu parayum inner membrane folded aanu aa folding se crystal nu parayum idu surface ne increase cheyan aanu and on the inner membrane crystal ne mele round structures will with the right round structures with the stalk and we see round structures illa ാണ് ഫ്ലൂയിഡ് മാട്രിക്സ് എന്ന് പറയും ആ മാട്രിക്സിനുള്ളിൽ സർക്കുലാർ ഡി എൻ എ ഉണ്ടാവും ആർ എൻ എ ഉണ്ടാവും റൈബോസും ഉണ്ടാവും ഇതാണ് മൈക്രോകോണ്ട്രിയന്റെ ഇലക്ട്രോൺ മൈക്രോസ്കോപ്പിക് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഡയഗ്രാം ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ആണ് ടെക്സ്റ്റോ നോട്ട് നോക്കി വരച്ചെടുക്കണം ബുദ്ധിയിൽ വരക്കണം ഓക്സിസോ ഫുൾ ആയിട്ട് വരക്കണം ഓക്സിസോ ഒരു സ്ഥലത്ത് വരച്ചാൽ പോരാ ക്രിസ്റ്റന്റെ മേലെ ഫുൾ ആയിട്ട് വരക്കണം ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഓഫ് മൈക്രോകോണ്ട്രിയോൺ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ The function of mitochondria it is called powerhouse of a cell. It produces energy. That is energy in our body. Energy in our body process. It takes place inside the mitochondria. Mitochondria has energy in our body. Respiration is not a cell. Respiration is not a cell. Cellular respiration is not a cell. 
See, cell respiration is a glucose molecule. See, that can explain it in the form of respiration. Glucose is an energy. Glucose is an energy. Carbohydrates is an energy. Glucose is a glucose. Glucose is a break. Glucose breaks into carbon dioxide and water with the production of energy. Glucose breaks into carbon dioxide and water and energy. That energy is glucose plus oxygen, oxidation of glucose and produce energy. That energy is in the story of the ATP molecule. This is the cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is the cellular respiration. We have to add oxygen. We have to add oxygen. We have to add one cell and add one cell. நம்மல் கடிக்கின்ன புட்டு பலைந்துலைக் குடிட்டு ஓரோ செல்லிலைக்கு வெட்தும் செல்லிலைக்கு கழிந்தால் செல்லிலைக்கு கழிந்தால்
ग्लूकोप्लास्ट देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ प्लास्टिक्स क्लोरोप्लास्ट क्रोमोप्लास्ट एंड ग्लूकोप्लास्ट क्लोरोप्लास्ट ग्रीन कलर इस ग्रीन कलर इट इज प्रेजेंट इन लीव्स इट कंटेन पिगमेंट कॉल्ड क्लोरोफिल मेनली एंड द फंक्शन इज absorbing sunlight or photosynthesis it absorbs sunlight and prepare food by photosynthesis so four properties green color one present mainly in leaves because of the presence of chlorophyll green color is pigment and function absorbing sunlight and doing photosynthesis chromoplast yellow orange or red color plastics are called chromoplast they are present in flowers and fruits flowers and fruits their function is they are present in because of the presence of called pigments called carotenoids they contain pigments called as carotenoids and they are helping in the storage of food material structure same ana color different ana yellow red orange color ava present in flowers and fruits pigments in the carotenoids are carotene carotene we carotene 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 then there is no pigments adu kalai kalalathu adu pigments illathu kondana function same aanu function nothing in the storage of material idana three types of plastics important aanu moonu market question choikka definitely different types of plastics chloroplast chromoplast glucoplast so difference green color red yellow color colorless glucoplast in moonu tharu undu ग्लूकोप्लास्ट में इसका फंक्शन एंड टू सेम आना रैंडम स्टोरेज आ रहा स्टोरेज आना फंक्शन बाय इधर का ग्लूकोप्लास्ट में दो तरह के नोट्स आ रहे हैं नाउ अरे चल अगर प्रोटीन स्टोरेज चल अगर कार्बोहाइड्रेट स्टोरेज अगर ना प्रोटीन स्टोरेज ना ग्लूकोप्लास्ट में ग्लूकोप्लास्ट के सेम आना कारण है साना कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्रोटीन स्टोरेज में ना प्रोटीनो प्लास्टर में बारे अलग है अल्यूरो प्लास्टिक अल्यूरो प्लास्टर में बारे अल्यूरो प्लास्ट अमेरो प्लास्ट इलायो प्लास्ट अल्यूरो प्लास्ट और प्रोटीनो प्लास्ट अगर पाला तरह में ल्यूको प्लास्टर में ना ये अंदर यंदा आना स्टोरेज में ना ल्यूको प्लास्टर में बारे ना स्टोरेज आ कार्बोहाइड्रेट स्टोरेज में ना अमीरो प्लास्टिक वाले स्टार्ट स्टोरेज में ना अमीरो प्लास्टिक में पाला गरम ल्यूको प्लास्टिक प्लास्टिक में ना ओके दिस इस द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लास्टिक क्लोरोप्लास्ट क्रोमोप्लास्ट एंड ल्यूको प्लास्ट कलर डिफरेंट आना फंक्शन डिफरेंट आना सी नेक्स्ट वन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डबल मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड स्ट्रक्चर्स आर हमारा वैसे बोले डबल ओवर ऑफ राउंडिंग शेप शेप को इतना सुंदर औरो आर्गी लगने औरो टाइप शेप आना नॉर्मल शेप आना वाले के दूर ना हम नॉर्मल आए थे राउंड और ओवर इन शेप आना ओवर ऑफ राउंड शेप आना कवर्ड बाय डबल लेयर मेम्ब्रेन फोल्डिंग this is called inner membrane and this is called periplastral space periplastral space nor in the space in the space na periplastral space nor in space between outer and inner membrane is called periplastral space this is filled with a fluid there is a fluid filled now a fluid in a stroma nor in अतः हम इधर कौन लाएंगे ले अतः मैक्स नो वाली आ स्ट्रोमे आम बात है सॉरी प्लास्टिक आम बात है स्ट्रोमा नो वाली देन इनफोल्डिंग्स नो नहीं ला पच्चे वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट सेक्टर्स आ गए सी फ्लैट 
membrane bound structures are there idhar maatra kaal sakthana flat membrane bound structures fill with the fluid this flat membrane bound structures are called as thylakoids flat membrane bound structures are called as thylakoid in varana structures undavu adu single membrane bound ana oru single membrane illo adu fluid undavu and c thylakoid in varai flat membrane bound structures are called as thylakoid thylakoid group wise undavu here da thylakoids are present one above the other అంటే గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ థైలాకాయిడ్స్ ఉంటుంది నౌ దిస్ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ థైలాకాయిడ్స్ కాల్డ్ గ్రానులర్ వాల్యూ దిస్ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ థైలాకాయిడ్స్ ఏ రెప్రజెంట్ యా గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ థైలాకాయిడ్స్ కాల్డ్ గ్రానమ్ అబడి ఆ ఫోటో సూచన అనుకుంటున్నా థైలాకాయిడ్ లాన ఈ థైలాకాయిడ్ మెంబ్రేన్ లాన పిగ్మెంట్ ఇది ఆ పిగ్మెంట్స్ ఉండాలి క్లోరోఫిలిక్ ఉండాలి ఈ థైలాకాయిడ్ ద మెంబ్రేన్ లాన ఓర్కణం థైలాకాయిడ్ మెంబ్రేన్ కంటైన్ పిగ్మెంట్స్ ఇబడి ఆ ఫోటో సూచన అనుకుంటున్నా All grana are interconnected by tubular structures. These tubular structures are called these tubular structures are called stroma lamella nori. Stroma lamella nori. Then the grana are made connecting the two grana stroma lamella nori. So thylakoid is called flat membrane bound structure is called thylakoid. One thylakoid group of thylakoid is. DNA, circular DNA and mitochondria body, RNA in the cell, the contain RNA and ribosomes. RNA, ribosomes are there, plus the contain the mitochondria and the body, it is called as ribosomes. Mitochondria and the plastics are similar because all contain, both of them contain RNA, DNA and the ribosome circular DNA or RNA ribosome so now so this is the electro microscopic structure of plastids i will revise once again my plastids are usually around or oval in shape different colors different other shapes are available in algae algae is very broad shape available on covered by outer membrane inner membrane the space between two membrane is called periplastid space this is filled with a fluid the fluid present is called stroma stroma contain flat membrane bound structures called thylakoid thylakoids are placed one above the other or a group of thylakoid are called granules or in the adjacent grana adjacent the grana are interconnected by tubular structure called stroma lamella stroma thylakoid then max stroma contain circular dna more no dna now rna now ribosomes now mitochondria plastid mure kaalathu similar aanu rendu double membrane bound aanu rendilum dna undavu rna undavu ribosomes undavu adu kondu endu undaakkan pattum dna rna ribosome nammala eukaryotic cell varachu egnesia eukaryotic cell inde structure aanu mitochondria kum plastid illo eukaryotic cell inde bacterial cell inde structure aanu egnesia ullo and because of the presence of dna rna ribosomes dna um rna um ribosomes ullathund mitochondria kum plastid num sondamayi kore proteins undaakkan pattum they can produce some of the proteins by themselves because of the presence of dna rna and the ribosome nammada body il protein undaanengile dna vanam rna vanam ribosome vanam adu moonum sondamayi illathund ribos mitochondria kum plastid num sondamayi proteins ya proteins undaakkan pattum they can produce proteins by themselves so they are called semi autonomous organelles mari semi autonomous organelle edakiyana 
mitochondria and plasmids are called a semi autonomous organelle in the semi autonomous organelle sondamai or paridhi vare existence in the all proteins are not made up. Semi is not half. Part of proteins, chala proteins, sondamai can be made up. Arik, mitochondria can be made up. Plastid can be made up. In those can be made up. They contain DNA, RNA, and ribosome. DNA, RNA, and ribosome are made up. Sondamai can be made up. Protein can be made up. So they are called semi autonomous organelles. They can produce proteins by themselves. So they are called semi autonomous organelles. दाना माइटो कोटेंड है, एक्सप्लेनेशन पास तो दुआ करें यार सेमी और एंड दें डिवाइड बाय बाइलर इफिशन, आरो इक ना साधारण ना बैक्टीरिया डिवाइड है तो बोले माइटो कोटेंड को प्लास्ट तो दुआ संधमाई प्रोटीन इंडा का आनु संधमाई डिवाइड है यार बच्चूं, सेम मल्टीप्लाई इंडा प्रोसेस बाइलर इफिशन, आर in every 20 seconds it will divide and the bacteria divide in the body IP divide in the body mitochondrium, plastidium, sondamai divide in the body they can multiply by binary fission and then sondamai to multiply in the body sondamai to put proteins in the body they are very important that is one organ that is sondamai to divide in the body sondamai to protein in the body the organ is the body mitochondrium Plastidum, so they are called semi-autonomous organelles. They multiply by themselves by binary fission. Bacteria divide in the body. Mitochondrium plastidum, so they divide in the body. They divide in the process of binary fission. Then they divide in the process of binary fission. So, mitochondrium plastidum, nucleus is very important. So, they multiply in the body. And then, so they have DNA. So, they have RNA. So, they have ribosomes. Plastic in the structure is all important dana, thylakoid important dana, grana important dana, then semi-autonomous important dana, because these and the organism are very important dana, because in physiology we have to study one chapter, respiration in the chapter, in the respiration in the chapter, in the chapter, mitochondrion is very very important, because mitochondrion is all respiration in the chapter. Then comes another chapter called Photosynthesis in the chapter and Photosynthesis That is the first chapter of Plastic Dilara So we have two chapters in the Respiration and Photosynthesis That is random One is the Mitochondrial and one is the Plastic Dilara So very important This is the structure random Important that is the main more than just that That chapter is the Nokaa Mitochondrial function is the Protection of Energy ATP Photosynthesis is the function of the Plastic Dilara Photosynthesis is done and it is storage and chloroplast, chromoplast, eucoplast. That is another function. Photosynthesis is a storage function of mitochondria and respiration. So, the major organs are or any nucleus and vacuum is important organs. That we can come to the next class. We can see that. I will give the notes for you. So, we will discuss about three diagrams. We will discuss about three diagrams. Cell wall. We will discuss about cell wall. We will discuss about plasma membrane structure. We discuss about endoplasmic reticulum, two types. We discuss Golgi complex. We discuss lysosomes. We discuss about vacuoles. We discuss about mitochondria. And we discuss about plastids. Get to organs and structures that we discuss. Then comes to the next organ, nucleus. And some related to that in the next class. Okay, thank you.